Hello, this is MakerJ11, and here's a cool little experiment that kind of sort of involves fire, more so it involves catalyst. So, I'll get to that in a second. So, today's featured subscriber is Metaphysical Engineer. He's got a really cool channel over there with lots of cool videos. Um, he's got some high voltage videos. He does a lot of um, capacitor pops and um, different sort of sorts of pops, um, and some like fail videos, things like that. Um, so, he's got some cool videos over there. So, go check him out. Um, so, this is basically a piece of copper hanging in a jar with acetone in the bottom. So, basically what happens is the oxygen from the air comes in and it evaporates some of the acetone vapor and that vapor when it comes into contact with the heated copper, the copper acts as a catalyst and um, makes it so that there's a lower activation energy and it combines on the surface and basically well basically burns on the surface and heats up the um, the copper and keeps it glowing um, so if you want to if you're planning on possibly trying to replicate this experiment make sure you wear safety goggles and have a fire extinguisher handy because it can as you know acetone is quite flammable and it has a I've had it um go up in flames a couple times here and so also have like a piece of metal or something to put it out so you don't have to use a fire extinguisher you just set it on top and it'll go out um, so, I got this experiment from this book, Mad Science 2, by Theodore Gray. He's got a really, he's got a couple of, um, really cool science books like this. Um, another book, um, he has is Periodic Table of Elements, and he also has a really, really cool website. Um, so, go check that out. He's got some really cool, he's got like a really huge collection of, um, of, elements and he's got them on his website so I'll link that in the description but um so basically this is so if you want to read this um, you can if you want to pause the video I don't know if it's high enough quality or not but um so he's basically just has a piece of copper he heats it up with a blowtorch and then after it's glowing you lower it into the jar of acetone and it just glows there and it'll pretty much glow infinitely or until the acetone runs out um, so, just because it's a catalyst, it doesn't actually get used up in the reaction. Um, but, I did try nail polish and it actually didn't work. I don't think the nail polish was high enough concentration. Um, this is, I think this is 99% pure acetone, I'm not really sure, but it's pretty pure stuff. Um, so, now let me just pull this out. So this is basically just a sheet of, um, copper that I used a, like, uh, arts and crafts punch thing to punch out letters of it. As you can see, it just stopped glowing there. It looks a lot better um, in person than it does on the camera because it the camera picks up most of the infrared. So let me see here. I'll use this one. So basically, you just have any piece of copper will work. This is just a little copper spring I made. Uh, some copper wire. Heat it over a flame. Blow torch or whatever you have till it's glowing real nice. And you just lowered it. <coughs> Whoop! So yeah, there it just ignited. Just set that on top. It's still going there. So yeah. So if you get it a little bit too hot, then it um, passes the um, the actual like flash temperature, or whatever, and it'll just do that. So you gotta be careful and um, maybe jump a little bit there. <laughs> but um, see, it's glowing real nice in there. Camera doesn't pick it up very good. It's glowing. I think it's too bright for it or something, <laughs> but um, probably do this in a well-ventilated area um, because it does have some fumes that kind of smell, so it could be producing some um, carbon monoxide or something like that too, I don't know, but um, well it is a catalyst though, but not that kind of cat not the same kind that's in a catalyst converter in a car, but um, so yeah, it's a pretty cool experiment. It's just kind of neat how it just sits there and sits there and glows. Um, so it's just kind of amazing. But I could try another piece here, just a ball of um, wire. So let me grab my wires here too, because this is kind of hot. So heat it up over the flame. And then after it's glowing real nice, just stick it in there. 
and keeps glowing. So yeah, just kind of a cool experiment. So um, yeah, if you're if you're gonna try to replicate this, just be safe and um, use common sense. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.